welcome back to my channel so as you must have already guessed today's video is a tutorial on how I do my entire base makeup which is uh, foundation concealing highlighting and contouring today I have used cream products to do my contour and highlight I usually stick to only powder products especially when I'm in a hurry but since today was a proper contour highlight foundation base everything full blown out tutorial I decided that I'm gonna be doing it the pro way as I mentioned not a very everyday sort of a, a dinner lunch sort of a look but if you have any special occasion where you know you need to look all popping then this is a, the perfect look for you as always before we start if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and uh, let's get right into it the first and most important is skin prep so to start off I'm using a cleansing wipe to clean my face well and nice i'm cleaning all of that fallout of my eyeshadow from under my eyes next i'm using my clinique moisturizing gel and i'm just going to apply that all over my face especially well under my eyes and my forehead next i'm using this nevia chapstick to just hydrate my lips second step is priming the face so i have used two primers the first one is this mattifying primer from makeup forever i'm using that just on my t-zone and next on top of it and around my nose for my open pores i am using the nyx pore filler primer to make sure i have a good and even base to start off with getting right into the actual makeup part of this tutorial i'm using this corrector from Ben Knight to just even out all the dark spots I have on my face rather the pigmentation I have on my face I have sun around my forehead and around my mouth so I'm just using my finger to just kind of dab on that orange color corrector on my face using this brush I'm just going to kind of blend that out and just dab that into my skin Next, using my MAC Match Master Foundation, I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender, dampening it with the MAC Fix Plus, and I'm just going to start applying that all over my face and blending that foundation well into my face. Now, for this sort of a proper highlight contour routine, you need to make sure that you have patience when you're blending because it everything really needs to be blended in very well. You can't have any harsh lines showing. So I'm just going to apply a nice and thin layer of foundation on my face and wherever I need extra coverage, I'm going to go over that with more foundation, not concealer, because we want the skin to look really nice. Next, using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This concealer is considerably lighter than my skin tone and I'm just going to use that to conceal as well as highlight under my eyes, on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow as well as my chin. This concealer is really light and still has great coverage which is why I can use it to conceal as well as highlight together without color correcting under my eyes. Using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Toast, I'm just going to use that to contour. Now you want to make that fish face, find your contour line and kind of just start to fill that contour in. I'm using it on my forehead. Now if you have a smaller forehead then you can totally skip this step. This will give the illusion of a smaller forehead head which is why I am using this to contour next I'm contouring my jawline so basically anywhere uh, any double chin or any of that happening around your jawline you can just use to kind of create a shadow and then a blend downwards Finally, I'm using a brush to contour my nose. I'm creating a straight line starting from under my brow all the way down to my nose. The closer the lines are together, the more snatched or the more slimmer your nose will look. Now, once you create that line, you want to kind of blend that downwards towards your nose, creating a shadow. 
Next, taking my beauty blender, I'm just gonna start blending everything in. All of those contour lines, all of that highlight, everything in very well. You wanna make sure you take your time with this because it's gonna take a long time to blend everything well. Some of these concealers have a tendency of setting really fast so they do take quite a lot of time to blend. I love how it's added amazing dimension to the face. It's not looking flat, it's looking like it's got so much happening. And once everything is blended together well, you'll see that it just changes the way you look and it is really amazing. Next, I'm just taking a beauty blender and I'm just going to literally blend everything on my nose together. Using this Lorac Pro Contour Palette, I'm just taking the light and medium contour shades on a blush brush. I'm just gonna start and set that contour basically again blend everything 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 well together on my forehead wherever i have all of that contour i am going to be applying the light and medium contour to it next i'm taking the yellow highlight and setting my under eyes with that highlight you want to make sure you use patting motions and not swiping motions so that you don't move the concealer around after this, I'm going to be doing something that I've learned. It's called a contour cleanup, where I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to kind of clean up that contour, highlight under where I have applied that contour, leave it on for about one or two minutes and then with that same brush just brush off all that excess powder next i'm using my uh, mac mineralize skin finish highlight in soft and gentle and i'm just going to take that on a small fluffy brush and apply that all over the top of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow and a little on my chin really bring all of those features out next using sun bask but MAC it is a peachy blush and I'm just gonna blend my contour and highlight together using this blush finally I'm gonna shower my face in MAC fix plus and we're done I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in my next video